Hey folks, Adam here. Uh, gray uh, Tuesday, heading to work. Um, gonna be shooting that Q&A soon. <laughs> um, I still plan on doing it. I just, I haven't had the desire to want to sit down and shoot it. I know that's kind of bad form considering I was doing it for you all. Um, and then, um, I just, uh, it's been, I don't know, it's been kind of crazy with the way my finances have been lately and it seems like more and more expenses have been cropping up to the point where I just haven't had any real extra cash. Um, and it's like, uh, this past weekend I did manage to make it out to the vintage stock and lo and behold they were having a sale. I didn't know they were having a sale. Um, so I ended up going to two different ones, and I did end up picking up quite a bit of stuff. Um, not necessarily cheap deals, but, well, some of it was. Uh, some of it um, was kind of crazy. At the vintage stock out in, in Blue Springs, they had a bunch of Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games in the box, but they wanted like some crazy prices for them. And the only reason I could figure that they wanted that much is that they were factory sealed. They were all sealed, but I couldn't really tell by looking at them uh, if they were factory sealed. I think they were though. Um, the three or four uh, Nintendo titles that are jumping out in my head that they had for sure was they had a, uh, um, uh, let's see, they had a RoboCop in box. That was probably the least, one of the least uh, wanted ones by myself. But they had Battletoads, um, Goonies 2, and then the really cool ones that they had. And I think they had a couple other ones, but they had Bionic Commando uh, and uh, Super C. And then they actually had a boxed. Uh, Contra, and I'm pretty sure the Contra was sealed, but when I say prices, I'm talking like, I remember looking at the Contra specifically, because I've been wanting Contra in the box for a while, and uh, they wanted uh, $89.99 for it, so I just had to figure that it was factory sealed, because, I mean, I they used to not even charge for the boxes and stuff, so the fact that it was that marked that high, to me, just it had to have been. They were busy as hell, so I didn't have time to ask them. But all of those games were sealed, and they were all priced around that mark, between $69 and $99. And um, those were the Nintendo games, and I'm pretty sure there was a couple more that I'm not thinking of. There wasn't any Mario games. Um... But the Nintendo 64, they had a, a similar, they had probably maybe 8 to 12 games uh, for the 64 that were in box and were crazy prices like that. Um, I'm trying to think what was jumping out at me with the 64. I didn't really look at the 64 stuff because, you know, it's my least favorite and I'm not going to pay an absorbent amount of money for a 64 game uh, based on the system, you know, that I don't really care for the system that much. But I know they had Conker's Bad Fur Day in the box and they had a, a Star Fox 64 in the box with the rumble pack um, so I don't know it was pretty crazy I didn't film it because I didn't have my camera with me when I went out there because I didn't even plan on going to that store uh, that was the one I went to second and that's the one where I got a really awesome kick-ass uh, couple of items that I really can't wait to show you, but I just didn't have time to film the video last night, and it's been kind of a weird week, uh, week or two, um, who am I kidding, like last two months, so, um, anyway, uh, this is just kind of an update, and a little bit of, uh, what I've been doing, um, and, uh, like I said, I am excited to, uh, get in there and shoot the, uh, the uh, pickups video. I think I might break it into two videos for the two um, stores. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, but um, lastly, uh, I do want to get the Q&A done. Um, 
also don't know if I referenced that or not. I, I just kind of heading to work and my brain's about half running. So um, uh, I do want to get the Q&A done for y'all. Uh, it's just uh, dedicating the time to sit down and film it. And um, I just haven't gotten around to it. And it's my, my bad. Apologies. So anyway, I'm going to sign off. Uh, this is just a little updater and a little bit of kind of a preview of what's to come, I suppose. So I didn't forget about y'all. Uh, I'll be talking to you. I am filming some different gameplays. I did move some systems around this weekend and hooked my original Xbox back up out in my living room. So I have uh, my, I put the GameCube up because I wasn't using it at all. But uh, now I have my PS2, my original Xbox, and then my 360 and my PS3 out there. So uh, I should be able to uh, film some uh, cool gameplays and stuff. Um, and uh, we'll uh, go from there. I know the gameplays aren't getting a hell of a ton of views, but I always do commentary on them. And I try to keep it running pretty much the whole thing. So, I mean, uh, if you like listening to me... Uh, jabber on, uh, you can always just uh, listen to me and not watch it. <laughs> but uh, thanks for uh, coming by and we'll uh, see you next video. Later folks.